G'day, welcome to Lodge Shop again. Um, it's been a couple of months since I've done a video. Today's one's a little bit uh, different, no mechanical stuff this time. Today's project is we're going to be upgrading the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, GSM router modem um, to provide better internet service here at Lodge. So I've bought some kit which I've had hanging around for a couple of weeks. Uh, so it's Christmas now, up here, got a few days to put it all in. So hopefully it'll only take a few hours. Anyway, let's do a bit of a run through of what I've got here. So I've got two PowerTech Blackhawk wideband Yagis with about 10 or 11 dB of gain. So inside each box, I've unpacked it to save a bit of time. That's our wideband. Yagi antenna. There's two of them. They get oriented at I think at 45 degrees or something basically to provide uh, MIMO, multiple input, multiple output um, data stream which gives better better data throughput. Um, so we've got the antenna there, some mounting hardware. This is the mast bracket um, which allows the antenna to be rotated at different angles. <coughs> 10 meters of coax with the appropriate connectors on the end of it. A ANSIG tin roof mount. Okay, that'll go up on the roof and that'll give me about 1.4 meters of elevation on top of the roof. So uh, I'll go inside and show you the current setup shortly. All right, and then coupled to all of that, I've upgraded my router, which is a Teltonica, uh, where are we? Teltonica, RUT2400. Um, it's supposed to be an industrial router. Um, so obviously it's got Wi Fi, but it also has a LAN and WAN port as well, which is really cool. My current setup doesn't have anything but Wi Fi. So straight away, this device has external antennas. Um, so we've got two cellular antennas there, um, or actually there and there, and then we've got a, a Wi Fi antenna there as well. So the external MIMO connectors will, antennas will connect to there, um, so straight away we'll have better signal. Also because we've got a little whip inside, I'm hoping the Wi-Fi coverage will work a little bit better as well. So that's the device, quite simple. Anyway, that's an overview of the equipment we're going to be putting in. Right, the current Wi-Fi setup is uh, quite simple. All we've got in here is a few year old virgin mobile hotspot okay it's a self-contained unit um, permanently hardwired to a 12 volt power supply that's been running for several years quite successfully um, but what i've found has happened is over the past couple of years the signal level seems to be getting lower and lower so it then gets into a marginal state um, where you don't get very good data throughput, particularly if you want to do streaming like YouTube or Netflix, there's a lot of buffering that happens. So I chose this location mounted in a window, um, which might seem a little bit odd, but basically after about a day of playing around with the system, I found out that this is the best, provides the best uh, mobile signal. It's getting a 4G signal there, you can see by the blue flashing at the bottom. Okay. Um, and it also provides Wi-Fi up to my sheds up the back there as well, which is, I don't know, probably 30 metres away or something like that. I've got a security camera up there, and that works quite well via Wi-Fi. Also, if you're browsing on your phone, that'll work well as well. So um, what we're going to be doing is um, replacing this unit. But before we start, what I'll do is I'll take some um, readings of the current signal and, you know, whatever strengths are there um, so we can compare the result when we put the antennas and the new device in okay so I'll go and set that up now okay so just logging onto the router okay so we're connected there connected to Optus LTE now to get a, a better view of what's happening you put it into PC mode and you get a bit more detail there and I don't know if it's hard to see, but we'll hit detail information. <coughs> All right, and that's our current um, current signal levels. Hopefully we can see that with the GoPro camera. 
that's probably a little bit better there. Okay, so basically we've got our 111, minus 111 dBm um, signal, which is pretty marginal from what I can gather on the 700 megahertz band, uh, which is obviously appropriate because it's out in a rural area and we need a lower frequency as possible to cover distance. Um, yeah, that's probably about it, really. So that's our current reference point. What I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of that um, and compare it once we get underway. So what I'll do is um, get some ladders set up and everything and then uh, we'll hop up onto the roof and look at putting the antenna mount in, running the cables. Uh, once that's done, it'll be pretty straightforward then to insert, uh, to connect up the new router um, and away we go. Hopefully I'll be able to set it up with all the same SSID and passwords so I won't have to reprogram my cameras or any other devices I've got here as well. So fingers crossed that will work. Anyway, I'm looking forward to getting underway. Okay, so... Um I've just pre-drilled the holes for the main mast mount here. So that just goes through the capping, through the roof sheet and into the purlin um, below. So that's nice and strong. It's the same method as these capping screws go in. So what I'm gonna do is just to um, make it a little bit uh, more watertight. I'm just gonna spread a little bit of silicon around here just to seal up these holes. And then I'll sort of just drill straight through them. The plate for the uh, antenna mast will sit on top of that. So that's that done. Put that into there. And then what we've got is this flat plate here, which mounts on to there, like so. Um, and then we've got our two stays that come down. So I'll put the screws in for here. If I can find the holes again, that was a bit silly. There's one, All right, and there's the other one. Oops, a bit tricky. Sort of everything wants to move around. <coughs> it's a bit of a pain, but I'll get there. There we go. So that's why I've pre-drilled it basically, just to make things a little easier. Um, otherwise, I would have had a lot of, a lot of dramas. Just, just nip them down a little bit okay. and as you can see that's pulled down onto the roof quite tight there and then I imagine I can just um, level it up with these things these stays will come down to the screws onto this side um, I'll just check that you can actually see that on the camera, which you can. <laughs> All right, I'll come back in a second um, when I've straightened everything out. So what I've got to do now is straighten this bracket up here. Hopefully that's in shot, which it isn't. I'll just bring the camera up. So we've got a bracket here that positions the this two stays that go down to the ground down there. All right, so I'm gonna get all that set up off camera and then come back again. Okay, so once again, I've pre-drilled the holes, put some silicon, um, and I'll just screw these stays in now. Sort of a, it's an okay project to do. I've just never done one before, so. You know, usually a little bit of trial and error. All right, so that's screwed in. And for this one, that's quite a neat little mount. Definitely better than putting up a huge mount with um, guy wires and, and such, which is, would be quite complicated and probably need a few people to help with. Hopefully that's in. in all right so what I've got to do now is um, just make sure it's all level which I'm not sure we can see with the camera like that 
I've just got to just pull it back this way a little bit um, which will be by tightening this bolt here just there so I'm going to do that now and come back when it's all finished okay because it's a bit hard to hold the camera all right we've now got the mount sorted out and she's all on the level check it around this way close enough close enough and it's it's pretty uh, pretty solid too I just had to do up this fitting here it comes down to the outriggers there and there and then that's the main mount there so all bolted in through the roof sheets through the cap through the roof sheets and onto the pearl and below um, I'm quite impressed it's it's very solid so we shouldn't have any any problems with the load there all right so next thing I've got to do I've got the cable strung out there I'm pretty sure it's a 10 meter cable um, so I've got to try and now figure out how to run the cable I'll run it the same way as these uh, TV and radio antennas are um, and then down into the shed um, and then I'll put the antennas up so I'll come back when I'm ready okay so after a couple of hours work I've got the antennas mounted and oriented pointing off to where I believe the closest Optus tower is um, still got a bit of tidy up work to do got the cable running across the roof it goes down through the roof and into the building um, and it's connected to the modem so we'll go down there now and have a quick look that's the antennas on the on the mount antenna cable coming down through the roof just temporary at the moment and down to our little RUT 240 device which is showing that it's got three signal bars and running off 4G so at this stage the signal is greatly improved and everything seems to be working okay so just finishing up this uh, wireless upgrade video I've now run the cable properly through the purlins down here down through the wall down underneath and then mounted it all in this little box so basically a lid will go on here and it'll all be um, all be self-contained so the signal um, strength used to be around 117 dBm minus 117 dBm it's now um, around about 70 75 something like that or maybe even 80 so for a 10 dB gain antenna that's a lot of extra gain but I would have got a lot of extra gain just by uh, elevating the um, just by having the antennas up in a higher spot higher elevation um, and also um, due to the antennas as well so it's pretty good everything's working well um, and we're watching Netflix on it quite reliably every night so um, all looks good so far thanks for watching